Hangsiders. Welcome to Hangsiders. This is Brandon. Today we are uh, expanding upon the Shredder collection. So as you see here, these are um, not all my Shredder figures. I have some back here. I've got some scattered around. But these are um, strategically picked for a reason. And that reason I'm going to get to in just a little bit. So, um, to start off, it's loot crate time. Now, for those of you that are keeping track at home, you know about this. For those of you that don't know what's going on, um, loot crate got into some financial issues. I don't know the full story, so I'm going to get something wrong here. Um, but basically, these were all shipped out, okay, long time ago. I ordered these in July of 2021, okay? So, uh, Danny, up there somewhere. Danny was released in September of 2021 as the first loot crate, and then Big Bad Toy Store bought a lot of them and started selling Danny. Um, I'll link the video at the end of this loot crate video for the Danny video. Um, it's a mess. I honestly don't know if I even released it. I don't know. Um, if not, that's coming soon. Um, but anyway, um, and then nothing. We heard nothing. And we found out that uh, Loot Crate was in some financial issue. NECA bought them. I don't know if that was before or after. Um, but basically, these were all sitting in a warehouse in China awaiting uh, distribution. Um, and months passed, and it's been a full year. And finally, these things started showing up. So this is box two. Um, but this this crate, uh, it's it's not a mystery because I didn't know all about it because I've seen it online, which stinks that I'm getting it later. I'd love to be spoiler free and not see anything and just come into this straight up not knowing anything. But sadly, I know a few details. I don't know everything, but I know a few details. Um, but anyway, so this is the Crab Claw Shop. Hmm, let's try it again. This is the Crab. This is the Crab Claw Hands Shredder from the Mirage Comics. Um, and the reason that I pull these shredders up is because we are expanding the Shredder collection today. Um, Shredder is one of my. It's got to be my most. Uh, I don't know. When you think about the Playmates figures, it might not be, but I think I have the most versions of Shredder more than any other figure. So I'm not sure, but I do have a lot of Shredder figures. Um, but anyway, let's get into this loot crate. Um, so hopefully the rest of them are showing up real soon because this kind of just happened unannounced. Like they really didn't um, say, hey, these are shipping. It just kind of happened. We got Now, um, before I jump, jump into this, there is a shirt here. And I've heard that you've just been kind of given a shirt and it's not been people's sizes. So... Um, in my favorite Turtles group on Facebook, the TMNC Party Wagon, there is an official thread for swapping shirts. So I'm going to try to get a small if there's not a small in this. So I know it's not like, oh, great, I can't wear this. I know I'll be able to get one. But if it's a medium or a large, I'm going to be very upset. So let's jump into this. Okay, so as I open up this Loot Crate box... There's a shirt, there's a figure, and there's some other things. We'll get the figure last because that's the thing that I'm, that's the reason I paid for all of this. Um, whew. I got an extra small on a shirt. Uh, we're going to see what happens. <laughs> we're going to see what happens. All right, I'm going to use the shirt last because I do like that in this, I don't know. Um, so we have a pen. Um, this can be any turtle that you want. If you want to be Raphael, you can be. Um, I don't know if it is specifically a certain turtle, um, but in the Mirage comic line, the um, turtles all had red bandana. So this is a very cool pin. Um, I will be displaying this on things. Um, so it'll, be, it'll probably go in my backpack. Um, there is not a whole lot in this, in this pack. Um, so this is a... Um, an Utrom fanny pack. So, 
There we go. We've got our fanny pack. Um, very simple fanny pack. Not much of anything in there, but it is really cool. Um, I do, I do really enjoy that it's going to go in the belly, where the Utrams um, had their, uh, the robots had the Utrams in their belly. So it's pretty cool. Let's tighten this a lot. Man, extra small. Man. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this. We're going to find out. I like my shirts tight. Um, you can say what you want about that. I don't care. Um, I don't look good in a baggy shirt and mediums are baggy on me. So um, I like to look good. That's all there is to it. My wife looks likes me to look good. So I like to look good for her. So. All right. So I have my Utrom. Oh, sorry about that hair. I have my Utrom fanny pack and in it I can um, just like just take a turtle with me wherever I go and then uh, I'm ready I'm ready and then someone can like um, be like what's in your fanny pack and I'll be like and they say raft and I'll say yeah a little too raft <laughs> all right Man, this extra small. I didn't even know they did that. Oh, you know what? It says extra small, but it looks good. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, man. Uh... Uh, the neck's a little tight, but, um, I don't know, did anybody, like, try these on when you got the wrong sizes? Because this is a small to me. It doesn't, like, this is good, and this is perfect. I don't, um, man, I love that shirt. I love it so much. I love it so much. Uh, that's a great, great shirt. Okay, so, uh, pin, Utram shirt, perfect. Uh, and the reason that we're here, so... This is, uh, I think they call it crab shredder. Nope, claw shredder. All right, so they call this claw shredder. My experience with the claw shredder, um, I saw him in the 2000s Four Kids show, um, in the 2000 era, and then I saw it in the 2012 era. And in both those iterations, Baxter Stockman kind of like mutates um, shredder clones. Um, I don't think it's actually shredder. I don't know if it's that way in the comics. Um, but I would assume so because the, the 2000 show kind of did a lot of the storylines of the, um, original comics. I'm assuming that this is a clone of Shredder. Um, in the, in both the 2000 cartoon and the 2012 cartoon, uh, there's three different iterations of them and they're, they're all like really silly looking. Um, but this is pretty cool and I am excited to open it. Um, what's really cool about this packaging, um, I, 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 I love packaging. I it's it's must be my wife. It must be the fact that like Lindsay's into um, like package design and graphic design and all the things, and um, that it really helps me understand things a little better. But this packaging is just amazing, and I I can't get over it. Um, I just think this is really excellent packaging. What's really cool about this box art is that this is. Um, the Mirage line of figures. We didn't really get a, a line of Mirage figures. We got like San Diego Comic-Con exclusive things. They were bundles. Um, but this is like an established packaging. And it's got kind of like pixel art, um, like comic book style, like stipple art. Um, and I just like, I, I just like it a lot. Um, but what's really interesting about it is that the Fugitoid that we got and all of the figures that we're going to get it have this packaging. And this was supposed to come out earlier this year, like in January-ish. Um, so it's really interesting that they have the packages already. And, um, <laughs> okay, so on on Fugitoid, it says 001, figure 001. This one says LC001. So it's Loot Crate 0, or sorry, Loot Crate LC01. So that's really cool that this is like, it, it's setting up the different uh, lines. Um, and I love the comic book style paneling. It looks amazing. 
It really, really does. Um, um, okay, so let's just get into this figure. Very excited about this. Uh, the Mirage packaging is the one I want to keep. I still have Fugitoid, and I, I know I shouldn't keep boxes, but I just, I can't help but appreciate the package design, so I have to figure something out. Um, I said that about my, um, about my uh, Super 7 boxes, and I just pitched those last weekend. All of them. All in the garbage. Don't, don't come at me, okay? Sorry. Sorry about it. Um, okay, so I know that the um, Mirage line has this street backdrop. Very cool. I like it. It looks great. It's not for me for a Dio. I, will, I won't be using that for a Dio. Um, the, the boxes are too glossy, and it's just, it is what it is. But, um, like, I really appreciate it for package design, but I've seen a lot of people use it as diorama backgrounds, and that's not for me. I'm not going to do that, so... All right, so we have him freed. I'm gonna start using proper equipment from now on. Absolutely zero accessories. So here is our claw shredder. Now, the reason that I picked out all of these shredder figures, these four in particular, is because um, I, I needed to compare them with other figures. Now, the very first shredder figure that came out is not this one, the very first NECA Shredder. It's not this one, but it is. So this is a repaint. Um, I think I really like it blue because um, I've seen some comic interaction, inter, uh, inter, some comic, whatever, coloring in where it's blue. Um, I've also seen it red and the blue makes more sense to me. I really like it, but the, um, the original line was this red color. Now, from what I know, I believe this body is the same body. Yes. So this is the exact same mold of the shredder. So this these this body and this body are exactly the same. Um, I'm thinking where it changes is the knee joint. So they they swap out this knee joint and they put in these giant um, like just tree trunks. Tree trunks. So he's got these giant trunks for feet. Um, and I, I think that the same thing, yeah, it's the same thing for the upper arm as well. And they snap on the claws. So um, I am... Everything's moving pretty well. Um, if you get, if you can hear that, um, it's kind of tight. You know that like there's like a very fine line of what's perfect for NECA figures and what's too tight and what's too loose. So this is pretty good. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to break it when I do this. That's great. Um, I wasn't expecting any articulation here. And I'm not getting any, but it looks like I'm getting a very small amount. So I don't know if it's supposed to move more or if it's just whatever. It's clicking. Okay, so it does move. So that that's very tight. Um, very tight. But now that's loose. So I wonder, am I going to break this or do I need to heat it up? It's a pretty big joint to break. There we go. Okay. Don't do that at home. I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I did that. I got lucky. Um, I do have some, some paint flecking off already. You can see. Um, not a big deal, but it is coming off of this area right here. Um, so claw shredder, um, now the body, the forearms, the upper thighs, these are the same figure redone and they have, um, sorry, words are failing me. So they've, they've swapped out the lower link, limbs of the, uh, of those pieces. So... Um, oh, it's getting a little loose now, which is kind of concerning. Now the head, it's got a new neck joint. It's got a giant neck. Um, so if you look at these two figures, the neck is definitely different. And then the shoulder pads, they get a little more mutated -y, So these are a little more spiky. And then this helmet is... I mean, it's, obviously it's a new sculpt. Um... 
the new sculpt. So I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be. It does look a little wonky in the drawing, like it's all crazy. It's pretty solid, but I don't really know why this one's so tight to the head and this one's so loose. Um, but they are different lengths too, and you can move them. Um, and then this on the illustration is like sticking up. So I'm gonna try to play it a little bit and see if I can get it to stick up a little bit without it breaking. Um, but yeah, that's 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 very different. Now the reason I have these other figures um, is just kind of do like a, sh a shredder study, so you can kind of just kind of inform you on the different shredder figures that are available. So um, the one that I don't have and I really want it is this color scheme with this shredder. Um, again, I understand why they did red. I understand why they did blue, but I have to get the red one, which is going to cost me a fortune. So I'm not going to get it. Someday I will. Um, so this this version, they're clearly still have the mold for it. They're clearly going to reuse it. They've reused it on this. Hopefully we'll get a shredder that has this red scheme um, to go with the other lines and they reissue those. Um, now this shredder, um, I, I could get on the custom route because this shredder is exactly the same. The only difference besides is the paint. Um, so this is a pixelated version of this. Um, it's for the arcade game, the, uh, the the first Turtles arcade game. Take off the cape, and it's the exact same body. So if I can find uh, this shredder again somewhere, I am going to buy it and do a paint job to make it look like this, like this shredder, but this color scheme. And then that leads me down to this shredder, which is very different. And this shredder, um, first of all, it ha man, first of all. The spikes are insanely different, uh, but most of this body is the mold of the cartoon figure. Uh, so the head is the same as the cartoon figure. Um, the spikes are different. The spikes are way spikier on this figure. Um, and But for the most part, it's all the same, just the paint scheme. So this is the reason that I showed you all these different shredders. Um, at the beginning and so you can compare them but but let's get back to this claw shredder so this is very cool um, now like I said there are three different variants of the claw shredder and um, I, I'm very uh, I'm very I don't know I don't know my thoughts on it being loot crate exclusive because if you miss out on it you get to pay a fortune and I don't especially with like loot crate kind of being like in financial issues I kind of hope that they don't do this anymore um, it is fun to get them but for those collectors that like missed out on this or started too late like I missed out on, a, on I got too late on a few packs too so I didn't get um, the bunny bebop and rock City. I had to do that separately um, I didn't get the shell shock turtle and I'll probably never get that um, there's just a few things that are just kind of a bummer uh, that I don't I don't think they need to be locked behind uh, granted. There's not a limit like when you well There probably was but there's a lot and you can pre-order it and I got it and it's great um, But I hope they don't really do For everyone's sake. I hope they don't do loot crates again um, Again, it is kind of fun to get some extra stuff, but it is what it is. So Anyway, this is claw shredder. Um, I hope they do the other two so you can have like, I think, like, one was, like, a big head, little little guy, big head, and then there's another one that's, like, shoot, I can't even think what it looks like now, but, um, but, yeah, I hope they, I hope they do a lot with this Mirage line, and I am very excited, um, with the direction they're going. I think the detail in this is great. I love the line work. Um, it's, like, a perfect mixture between the tune line and the card, the, uh, comic line. Um, it's just, I, I, the line work is just great. Um, and then if I compare this to, again, it's a knockoff turtle. Um, I feel like I need to add some paint, some tune lines to make this match. Um, and I know they are going to release the turtles again soon. And I'm wondering what they're doing waiting so long. Cause they just announced like Casey Jones and they just announced, um, no, they just announced Casey Jones, but I'm hoping that they put these turtles out real soon. But, um, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Um, it looks really great, and to have this monster of a shredder, um, he's taller, a little more insane. He's got these claws. His brain's been messed up. He's a clone, but mutated clone. So, 
Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this. What are your thoughts about it being behind Loot Crate? What are your thoughts about Loot Crate taking forever to get here? I mean, it's been a year. Like, happy anniversary. This has been in a box for a year. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this. Uh, I love to get your interactions in the comments. So, um, yeah. Did you get this? Did you uh, miss out on the loot crates? Did you cancel your loot crates? Some people canceled them and said, I'm, I want money back. It's never going to happen. So, just let me know what you think. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Bye.